one of Estonia's greatest composers, and almost undoubtedly its greatest composition teacher. I'm the Classical Nerd, and today we're talking about Heino Eller. Heino Eller was born in Tartu, Estonia in 1887. His musical aptitude in his early years was geared towards the violin, and he played in chamber groups and symphony orchestras, eventually entering the conservatory world to study the violin. Like Scriabin or Schumann, he suffered a significant setback in his performing career when he injured his hand. After a brief period of time as a law student at the behest of his father, where he met his future wife, he re-entered the musical world and graduated from the Petrograd Conservatory in 1920. This is when his compositional career truly began. Eller's compositions are marked by a synthesis of late Romantic and a bunch of early 20th century styles. They mostly focus on instrumental works of every scope, from chamber pieces to pieces for large symphony orchestras, of which the tome poems Dawn and Twilight stand as a high watermark for Estonian music of this era. His musical language began to evolve to encompass even more modern aspects, which ended up landing him in hot water with the Soviet censors. Well, Eller didn't want to cause trouble, and so he relaxed his style a little bit in response, taking in more influence from Estonian folk music, which must have worked. He was named an art worker of the Estonian SSR in 1945, got the Order of Lenin in 1965, and was named a People's Artist of the USSR three years before his death. However, interestingly enough, the works denounced as formalist in Eller's catalog were much less radical than some of the pieces that got other composers in hot water. In fact, pieces that have proved to become Eller's most popular pieces originate in the period in which his works were banned. And like every composer in Soviet circles, he endured strict censorship until the death of Stalin. These years were also marked by significant tragedy, as his wife was abducted by the Nazis in 1942 and killed in the Holocaust because of her Jewish heritage. Eller has long been known in Estonia and revered in its musical circles, but getting his music out there to the wider audience has proved difficult. Despite his compositional credentials, all anyone knew outside of Estonia was that he was a fantastic composition professor. And during his time as a compositional professor, he taught pretty much every major and minor Estonian composer, including Ervo Pert. Eller was able to achieve a synthesis, unlike anyone else, of late Romantic and all sorts of early 20th century styles. Add into that his poignant use of Estonian folk music, and his music becomes something that touches every listener who hears it.